Hey guys, this is Dapson Ishmael. So in the series of extension tutorials, today's video we are taking a look at how to work with the um, strength password extension that is Wizard Web Builder extension. So to show you what I mean with this particular extension, this particular let me just give you an overview about it. So the extension gives you um, an idea about the strength of password which is being used for a site. So if you are typing a password which is um, very, very low, it's not as secure than the rest. It gives you ideas and suggestions and it makes you know that this um, password they are typing is either weak or strong. So that is just about the extension. Now I have actually developed um, two simple um, sign up pages which has the implementation of this extension. So one doesn't, one has. So this is just a sign up form. So in case I'm done filling my name, and then I come to the password section and I begin typing my password. You realize that this doesn't give me any suggestion on the strength of the password. Now with the next form, which is basically the same thing. When I come to the password section and I begin typing the password, you realize it gives me an idea um, that the kind of password I'm setting is either weak. And then it tells me what I can do. So in case I want to have this a bit um, strong, you realize that as I type, then it gives me an idea that this particular password is very strong and the rest. So this is a very great um, feature or two you probably might want to have on your website, which has, you know, sign up um, pages and, and, and more. So let's just get into WYSIWYG Web Builder and take a look at how we can go about using this particular extension. So in WYSIWYG Web Builder, I already have a sign up, a simple sign up form configured. Um, there's already a tutorial on how to create um, forms using the login tools and wizard web builder so you should probably take a look at that so on my sign up form what i need to do next is since i already have the extension installed i need to come to it which is the password strength and then i just bring it up here so once i bring it up here i just double click on it and there are a couple of things you probably might want to change or leave it just as it is so by default with what we saw here i didn't have to um configure anything i it was just the default configuration settings that i actually use so once i come you come here this is actually the same thing so in case you are not cool and you want to change these are just a few things you can change so the height this is actually the um the bar which pops up here at this particular section the height of it is what you see over here and then also you have the margin as well as the password field so the password field is password so that is just what you have in here and then you have the style so the style has to do with how you want the bar to display that information you get and test how you want that also to display so we have the font family the font size and then the style as well as the color for it and then you come to the text that has to do with the messages which we're showing at the bottom here what kind of messages do you intend to show so this this is um you probably might not want to change anything over here you just leave it as it is and then just probably tweak the settings or the style or how it previews just a little bit and then that's just about it so i just click on ok leaving the configuration as it is and then go ahead to publish this particular page again and then once it's done i come to my address bar type localhost and then test as well as sign up and then i come back to this page so once i fill this form and then i come to the password section and i begin typing a password realize that it just it gives you suggestions on the password uh, that you're actually setting and how to improve it so that is just about it for this tutorial in case you are new and you haven't subscribed yet kindly smash the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit on the bell as well so that anytime there's a new video you get to see it once again my name is Dabson Ishmael thank you very much for watching bye for now